In this video, I'm going to give you a walkthrough of my rustic outdoor bath area and tell you all about the pros, cons and features. I created this area about five years ago with mainly upcycled materials. Although the timber has faded a bit over time, the area still functions as good as ever. It's amazing to be able to look at the stars while relaxing in a hot bath. I also enjoy taking an icy cold shower during winter while looking at the sunrise or sunset. I've even seen shooting stars while I've been standing on my timber platform having an early morning cold shower. I basically only ever use the indoor bathroom in electrical storms as I'm scared of lightning. An exciting new feature has just arrived for the outdoor bath area, so keep watching to see what it is. A great feature of the outdoor bath is that you can adapt the outdoor bath into an outdoor ice plunge by buying some ice, throwing it in and filling it up with cold water. So this is the outdoor shower. This is the first thing we installed. I think the outdoor shower is really great. She can come out here every morning and evening, have a shower in the garden. It's not much cleaning up to do in the bathroom. Keeps your bathroom constantly dry. So that's the first thing we installed. Just a simple copper pipes with a simple shower head and some taps hot and cold. So this is the first thing we installed and it's really nice to be able to stand on a timber deck look up at the stars and look at the sky and have a shower. Then we created this small outdoor courtyard. We created all the screening from recycled timber framing, which was over 100 years old, to build this small timber courtyard. Once the timber framing was finished, we needed to find an old bath. I found this old cast iron bath second hand on the marketplace. It's from an old bank and it's over 150 years old. We restored it a bit and then prepared to install it. So I just needed to build a timber deck for it to sit on. So a plumber friend of mine helped us install a bath, then also some copper piping. It has hot and cold water. We just have the copper running surface mounted onto the timber screening. Have hot water here at the top and a simple spout. So we have a hot water here and cold water tap down here. So this is actually a really big bath. I think it is about twice the volume of our bath inside. So I've really been enjoying emptying a few bags of ice into the bath, filling up with cold water, and then using this bath as a cold water plunge. I've purchased a water chiller. So the next step is to install the water chiller and then circulate the water from the bath through the water chiller and then back into the bath. This will keep the bath temperature at about 3 degrees constantly. In this delivery package is an industrial water chiller. I plan to connect it to my outdoor bath in the upcoming week. With this setup, I'll be transforming my bath into a multi-purpose oasis for hot soaks and icy cold water plungers. I don't really know how I'm going to set it up yet, but I really look forward to sharing the progress with you. There's a lot of pros on having this outdoor shower and bath area. We get heaps of good value from it. I use the outdoor shower twice a day. We have hot baths during the evenings in winter time. Then I also use it as a cold water plunge. The problem is once winter finishes, the water is not quite cold enough anymore and you've got to start buying bags of ice to cool the water down. So that's my plan for the next few months is to install this water chiller to have a cold water plunge all year round. The only cons are it's quite expensive to set up an outdoor screening area, buy a bath, plumb it all in, but I think the cost is worth it. All the hardwood I got for the screening was from an old house that was getting demolished up the road. So I'm always going to these old building sites and negotiating to get a bit of the timber framing to use to build timber screens or timber decks or use it for recycled projects. It's always a battle. They want to get it all, chainsaw it up and burn it. So I'm really happy I got this old timber screening here and it'll last forever. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. I hope I've provided you a few outdoor bathroom ideas that you can implement in your own home. Thank you.